we chopped off this piece right here and um, I put the I put this little piece from Hux Performance and we put a washer right here they gave us a small little washer uh, you put it right there and it's really simple it's just a number 12 right here and two right there and you kind of just put on the shift linkage and test it out so it, it working guys way closer way closer than we think so I'm start I gotta start prepping and uh, I took all of these pieces on the wire harness off all of the unnecessary stuff like the mounts and everything the side mounts the yeah all of it and um, we're just getting making this engine harness look way better than what it is before because obviously we don't need all of those clippings and uh, we're getting ready I put this in um, this is the clutch line from Hux and this is the this is the bracket from Hux Performance too as well and is already connected and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, figure out if I wanna run wanna run my um, frill pressure regular in a circle or just straight out to here I think I might 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 do the whole circle um, so it's coming along good finally got the mount so let's prep this engine up I got the fuel connected to a fuel filter coming out from here so straight from the stock one for now um, we're gonna run the stock one for now until we get the 10 an fitting all the way down with the this is gonna it's coming along good <laughs> all right guys I didn't want this so I, I cut this off um, I'm gonna make it smoother because we're gonna rock a uh, a Tom's back bumper anyways so we don't need this put in the motor Jay's helping me push this motor in we got it on a tire and a jack <laughs> <laughs> got the motor in and we're gonna take the tires off we took the tires off already and now it's on jack stand we're gonna take this tire off and actually drop it down <sighs> without taking the subframe off okay we we put the jack in, we took the rims out, and uh, we just dropped it down with the subframe and uh, an arm and everything. We just have to clear the alternator, and uh, as long as the alternator go over that little tie bar, we're good, and uh, it's in. It's now, so dark, you can't see shit. Yeah. So, it's hitting the brackets and everything, so I'm going to have to take... Take the jack off. Yeah. Okay, make sure the tranny don't hit the subframe. Make sure the tranny don't hit the sub. Oh, it is hitting. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's hitting. It's hitting. Oh, wait, no. Now, now just sliding off. I think that's what I'm doing. Oh, cool. Watch out. Yeah, you can just move it. Watch out. There we go. Oh. Oh, it's hitting again. Pull it this way. see what you're doing I think we're supposed to put this side on first push it this way Jay, I think we're supposed to put this side on first man let me fucking work <laughs> I'm mad <laughs> look we gotta put this side on first I'll give a fuck <laughs> you take the mount off and then you put the mount over here putting the motor we decided to use this crossbar for leverage so we could pull that motor up and Jay's getting pissed right now uh, you little, you little pussy, uh, you know, you, bitch. You little, his uh, pussy is kind of tickled right now. <laughs> Got my pants in a bunch. <laughs> no, we just fucking around, but um, yeah, we just gotta use this bar, and we are taking it out. We are hooking it up there and pulling it up. It's that simple. That simple. We want to prove to people that you could still have this bar on while doing this motor, putting this motor in, and we done proved that. I think we're the first one who ever did this like this. What, what do you think? Yeah, I think we're the first one who ever did it like this. Everybody usually take this cross member out. I'm like, I'm not trying to take this out. 
So we got the motor in. I had to tie it up and jack the whole car up. Put jack stands on it so I could get the jack under the um, under the motor. So then once I got the jack under the motor, because since it's all the way to the ground, I can't get the jack under the motor. So I have to I have to hold the whole motor up with all of these um, chains and everything. So the motor and the car chassis could come up together and once it comes up I put a jack under put this jack on the bottom and it's just easier to maneuver and I got all two of the mounts in and I'm gonna do the the backs and the front tomorrow so this is the update on the K series in here so um, as you could tell I did not paint the engine bay yet so we're gonna be doing the wire harness first we're gonna do the first startup and then I'm gonna drop it back down um because obviously when we put it in we kind of scuffed it and everything and that's what i didn't want i didn't want to paint it and put the motor in you know and scuff it all up why don't i just put the motor in first mock it up and then take it back out and then repaint the whole engine bay so that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow but today i'm going to call a day call it a day and uh we just we're we're finished so we actually did the whole motor swap from the bottom with this cross member in so if you guys ever wonder if you guys could do this uh we already did it um and uh, other than that uh came along good so we're gonna run this fuel line straight here with the fuel pressure regulator from from that back inside and uh it's coming along good if it wasn't for this bar that um uh uh for the owner the last owner that gave me this this car he gave me this bar and uh, i would i was about to throw it away lucky i kept it because it came in handy for a motor swap it definitely came in handy if you don't have this bar make sure you put a block of wood here and start just using it to actually pull it up from there